All right, so let's talk about deleting files in Windows 10. Now this works the same as it does in any other version of Windows, and it is important to understand exactly how it works, especially when you're dealing with cust uh, customer data, especially sensitive data like credit card information. So what I do uh, have here is just a, a blank file, and what I'm gonna do is show you what happens when you delete it. So uh, to delete any item in Windows, all you have to do is right click on it and then go ahead and say delete. So when you do that though, that file is not actually deleted. Where it is, is it's stored here in the recycle bin. Now you may or may not have the recycle bin on your desktop. Uh, if you do not, well, you'll wanna go ahead and uh, find that. So let me go ahead and show you where to find that. So you wanna open up control panel and then search for desktop or you could search for personalization and then go to show or hide common icons on the desktop. So right now I have this box checked that shows recycle bin. If it was unchecked, I would not see anything on the desktop there. So after you have deleted an item, what you need to do is go up to the recycle bin, right click it and then say empty recycle bin. You'll then get a prompt to ask you if you are sure that you want to permanently delete this file. Now, unfortunately, that's not really the end of the story there. Now, the way that hard drives work is when you delete a file, it's not available from the Windows File Explorer, but it's not actually gone. If somebody really wanted to find that file, they could find it if they had access, that is physical access, to your hard drive. Those items will actually stay on your hard drive until they are overwritten, basically until Windows uh, uses that physical space on your hard drive uh, to fill it with another document. So if you are going to be disposing of your computer and you may have sensitive customer data on that computer, it may be best to have it cleaned professionally or to just go ahead and destroy the hard drive or remove the hard drive and keep that yourself so that somebody else doesn't gain access to those files.